Good morning. <clears throat> I just got back from walking dogs this morning. Um, I have to go out again around lunchtime. Uh, my road, um, most of my road is a dirt road. Like the beginning part of it is paved off of the main road, the first quarter of it, but then the rest of it is dirt. So this morning they hadn't sanded yet. So it was an ice rink. So <laughs> it's like, you and my CRV, I have winter, t like, I don't know. They're not winter. They're, they're decent all season tires that I just put on. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're for snow or mud. They're not for ice. So it's like a butt clenching moment when you're driving. <laughs> it's really slow and I could feel myself sliding. But luckily when I came back, the town sanded. Um, they use like, not really sand. It's kind of like a dark grab. It's like a gravel, which is really nice. Any event, that was my adventure today. I didn't crack my CRV up <laughs> into a tree. Um, couple of things I want to mention, actually a handful of things. Um, the other night I had a dream about alligators trying to come after me. I don't know if they're alligators or crocodiles because it's not clear like the dream isn't where I can see vividly you know because I guess a crocodile has a wider mouth with you know bigger teeth um, in my dream it's not it's it's kind of vague I know that they're an alligator or crocodile and anyways so in this is the third. Did I mention that? <laughs> the third time I've had a dream where an alligator or crocodile was coming after me. It makes me think of, you know, the whole hybrid reptilian uh, race. Well, any event in this, this particular dream, I was in a house I don't know whose house. I was just in a house where it was being flooded with water. Uh, where I was crouched down on top of a refrigerator while there was an alligator that was looking for me. And that's all I remember. I don't remember. I'm not a, I'm not a person who remembers dreams in detail or, or, all of the dream. Uh, most of the time I just remember how I have felt in a dream. But as soon as I wake up, most of the time I instantly forget what the dream was about. So yeah, it's significant for whatever reason, alligators coming after me. So that, that was interesting, maybe. Maybe you won't find it interesting, but I've seen another sister in Christ actually talk about having a dream about alligators. So I'm not the only one. So there's something to it. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is, oh, you know, I don't really know how to go about talking about this. So when you're a true follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, you follow truth. You dig deep and you want to know the real deal about different things. So that's what having a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is about. The more truth you come into, the closer you become to the Lord, you know, to the Lord Jesus Christ, because Jesus Christ is truth. So the more truth that you obtain and, and, and have a, an urgency or a passion in your heart 
to to live truth and speak truth and find truth you know that you're that's your walk with the Lord Jesus Christ so when I see people who call themselves Christians nitpick at the silliest of things and I'm gonna just use this as an example because somebody was trying to pick me apart and it's like look you're only harming yourself by coming after me or going after anyone it's like you're you're your own testimony you are your own witness so whatever you do and whatever comes out of your mouth you're convicting yourself even though you believe you're convicting others so it's like you know point the finger all you want but again it's something you have to answer to i don't have to answer to that to your actions and what you say and what you do so it makes me sad because it's like if you don't have the understanding of that's what you're doing and they feel like they're not doing anything wrong so why repent from that why stop doing that if they don't feel like um that's wrong so that's why it's dangerous and very harmful so anyways i had someone nitpick about uh, according to him he saw me do devil horns in one of my uh videos now i wouldn't consciously do that like in your face but i'm not sure what video he saw me supposedly doing that but here's the thing and I'm probably going to entitle this video, uh, uh, Old Habits Are Hard to Break. I've only been in the truth for a little over a year. Now, I was coming into the truth slowly for many years, but I mean the full truth about this is spiritual, we're in a spiritual warfare, okay, uh, the way my mind works, um, the world defines it as ADHD, where my mind could be in 10 different places at once. Maybe not literally, but it's always churning. It's always going. It's always thinking about multiple things. So subconsciously, unintentionally, I'm not paying attention to what the heck my hands are doing. And again, you know, I'm sure that it was subtle if 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 I even did it. I'm not sure. Most of the time you don't see my hands <laughs> in the video. But maybe I was holding my Bible or doing something where I don't know. I really don't know and I don't care. It's just it's harmful if you're going after people over silly stuff it's like i'm it i've noticed people unconsciously do a lot of things that are satanic but this is a spiritual warfare okay so if i know this person's heart and the words that are coming out of their mouth is coming from their heart and they're speaking truth and bringing light to the darkness. I'm not really hardcore paying attention to, you know, oh, they just did a magic hand wand or something. And it's like, what, again, you know, I can only speak for myself, but I'm not consciously thinking about what my hands are doing at all times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got better things to do. So knowing this is a spiritual warfare, isn't it clever of Satan and old habits? It's like I probably, I, for years and years and years, I've been doing certain things where, you know, subtly, oh, she did the 666 sign. It's like, whoa. Well, I wasn't conscious of doing that. It's a spiritual warfare. Satan's going to, you know, anywhere he can, if you're not consciously thinking about your what your body is doing, you know, the hand gestures, this is the only thing that I can really use as an example at the moment, 
uh, we're constantly in a warfare, constantly. So again, if you're paying more attention to, oh my gosh, I she just did 666, uh, versus this whole year and all my videos, I've been just speaking truth to the best of my ability. Um, I'm not comfortable revealing my heart to others, but I've been putting myself out there because I'm trying to help others and plant a seed and want people to give their life to the Lord Jesus Christ. So I just... It's sad. It's really, really sad or when people pick apart saying, oh, she's wearing makeup. You know, let the Lord Jesus Christ convict that person if the Lord wants to. Each situation, I'm sure, is different. That look, does that person spend more time with their makeup than with the Lord Jesus Christ? No. Does it make that person feel more confident to wear makeup? Probably, so who cares? Who cares? It's a decision and it's their walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not my walk and it's not your walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's that. <laughs> and the other thing I wanted to talk about to conclude this um, you know, because I don't want to talk about too many things and be all over the place. Uh, and I know in my heart that I, I, I probably should just make another video of, like in, in more in depth. I believe that they, Satan worshipers, Nephilim, fallen angels, Illuminati, who, however you want to you know, label them, reptilians, whatever. They're trying to make everyone into transhumanism abominations. The, the third temple is a third strand of DNA that they're trying to, um, again, uh, make you an abomination um, where we can't go back home that's why it's so important to become born again i believe that the lord jesus christ fixes your dna from what they've done to you and what they're they're trying to do to you and i've seen signs in my own you know bone structure structure <laughs> that are male, you know, trans. And I'm not sure if they tried to invert me while I was in my mother's womb. I'm not sure if it's vaccinations, GMOs, the smart dust, the nanotechnology, or the combination of everything. Because I don't like to put all my eggs in one basket. There is so many different aspects to this. Like, in feminine products, who's to say they're not putting testosterone in feminine products? And then in male products, who's to say they're not, they're not putting estrogen in male products? Because how many men, I don't think they're all transgender, but how many men have you seen with no necks, no pronounced Adam's apple, and their shoulders are sloping like a female's, and they have more body fat than me? Now, we know that men don't have as many fat cells and that their, their fat cells are not placed in the same place um, as a woman. So when I see a, me a, a man who has like unusual weight distribution in their body, um, not only that, it's like their fat cells, it's, they're, they're large, like a woman's. So don't tell me that they're not contaminating the human race. And again, I don't believe everyone is transgender around me. I know we're not all humans here. There's two different species. But again, their goal is to make us into transhuman, to, to 
make us part machine mixing iron and clay is their their end agenda where you can't go back home if you take that mark of the beast that microchip and tag whatever they named it which is 666 um if you take that you can't go back home you can't because you know hive mind you're you i doubt you'll even know who you are anymore you won't know who you are you you won't know who jesus christ is you'll be hooked up to one mind their mind which is scary to think about but anyways i'm gonna go into more depth than that because in my bone structure my own I can, you know, I can speak from my own testimony that um, I have male traits, even though I'm female. So, you know, when I had somebody claim that I was an MTF, I'm not insulted by that. I'm not upset by that because the Lord Jesus Christ allowed me to see from my own life and my testimony what you know my journey not just my journey but you know i my physical traits are are you know questionable questionable now the only thing i can point out in this particular video is my digits that my can see my ring finger is longer than my index finger and according to you know the transvestigation channels that that means i'm transgender <laughs> now i'm sure that if i look at my girls i'll use my daughters as an example they have feminine hands their their ring finger is not longer than their index finger it's about the same size or even their index finger is a little bit longer i don't really pay too much attention but they they don't their ring finger is not uh longer than their index finger but um i do have feminine traits too i mean my wrists are tiny <laughs> look how tiny my wrists are that uh I would, I ordered um, a bracelet one time on Amazon and the standard size of a bracelet is seven inches. And uh, <laughs> I, I, and I wear, like, I have to get a child size bracelet because seven inch bracelet, if I put my hands, my, my arms straight down, and my fingers straight, it'll fall right off. <laughs> Come right off. <laughs> so again, you know, I don't have a, I don't have a square jaw. I don't have a thick neck like a, my neck's out to here, an Adam's apple or whatever. But I do have some masculine traits. I have biceps, man. <laughs> Because I walk dogs, it's like, ah. <laughs> you know, but I look at my first ex-husband. His forearms are the size of my, the top, my, my, my biceps. You know, it's funny because he used to have a horrible diet um, years ago. He'd eat cheeseburgers, not just one cheeseburger, but you know, two or three cheeseburgers for breakfast. <laughs> okay. But that man does not gain weight. He doesn't have fat on him. His arms and his legs are all muscle. All muscle. I mean, like, I'm not going to say like Popeye, but his forearm, his forearm is masculine. You know, it's like, it's muscle. You know, and if he does gain weight, it's not in his face or anywhere. It's just a little bit in his belly. And it's, you know, you know, other women would be like, whatever. <laughs> they breathe in a cake, they gain weight. <laughs> it's like, whatever. <laughs> 
So I've never, and that's part, I think that's part of my masculine trait that even after I gave birth to three children and my last, I had my son at 35 years old, I bounced back pretty easily. And I, I do stay active, but it's not, I don't work hard for it. So again, I think that that's, you know, it was part of the ma a masculine part of my DNA that, but when I do gain weight, you know, my thighs touch or something, all my weight is lower. It's like lower, like my weight that I gain is below my belly button. Any event. <laughs> I should talk more about it because again, I do believe it's important because I'm giving people eyes to see, even though I'm not necessarily doing that excuse me, the Lord Jesus Christ is the only one that can give you eyes to see, but I'm planting a seed to get people interested into seeking truth in depth and bringing the Lord Jesus Christ into their heart and into their life. Um, uh, I'm just the seed planter. I'm just the servant, but I'm trying to help open people's eyes because I mean, what else is our purpose here? We are to speak truth. We are to walk truth. And hopefully some of those seeds take enough to get somebody curious to seek truth for themselves, to seek the Lord Jesus Christ for themselves. So I'm going to end it at that because I'm going to grab another cup of coffee. But I love you. I hope this was mildly informative. Um, a true follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, again, you're not going to nitpick at silly stuff, at the silly little things like, look, yes, this is all spiritual, all of it, all of it. So you're going to see people maybe make a hand gesture every now and again. That doesn't mean they're a Satanist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but a true follower of the Lord Jesus Christ seeks truth, speaks truth, and follows truth. Okay? So, I love you and God bless.